Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be showing you a really cool builder's add-on which I think you'll definitely really enjoy. This is an add-on called the Bedrock Builder Wand which introduces a wand that you can use to build things really easily in your own Minecraft creative world. If you do want to get this add-on, there will be a link down below in the description and this is going to explain on how you can install this. You need to turn on experimental gameplay. You need to turn on all the day creator features, additional modded capabilities, upcoming creator features, game test framework. I just enabled it because I wanted to be safe. And then you also need experimental modeling features and then you'll be able to get the store inside your world. But I also want to point out that this is using scripts. And I'm not entirely too sure if there are scripts if you're on a phone or tablet. So if you're playing on those devices, then please do let me know. And then go down to your behavior packs, go and activate Builder 1 and go down to your research packs and activate Builder Wand Pack as well. So here we are inside the world and I already have the wand right in my hand. This is called the Building Wand, which will allow you to build things a lot easier than you ever could before. And I'm telling you now from me trying this out a little bit today, it's actually pretty useful. So the way this works is that's all using scripts. Now if I do go and interact, then we get ourselves to this entire GUI. We can choose from a whole bunch of different things. We got cuboid, we got auto cube, pyramid, sphere, hemisphere, cylinder, cone, line, wall, and we can also undo our last actions, which is also really, really handy. Because a lot of times, whenever they introduce these type of add ons, you don't really get an undo button, and you just have to deal with whatever you've done. Depending on the block that you do click on, it's going to change to that specific block. If I go and click on the dirt, and then I click on pyramid, it's going to ask you to choose where you want to start from. I'm going to go ahead and select here and I want it to end all the way over here so I right click again and then it's going to create our pyramid. Extremely, extremely easy and very, very good to use. But except for that one part down there, it's kind of like a little bit broken, not sure what happened there. But just the whole functionality of this add-on, it just works pretty well. Now let's say you're not sure what something does, but they do give you a question mark so you can click on that and it's going to tell you what it does. It says it draws a hemisphere, which is a dome. Now this is actually a very cool one. So I'm actually going to go and choose this really quickly. Now this is actually a very useful one, especially if you want to make a really cool underwater location. Now right here we have some tinted glass, which is going to make a very, very dark dome. So I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to go ahead and interact. And then I'm going to come all the way over here. And I'm going to interact again. And it should end up making our dome. Now, it will take a little bit of time depending on how big you make this thing. So if you make this a little bit smaller, then it won't take as long as something really, really big. But let's go ahead and wait a little bit, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so it took a little bit of time for this to actually load up. I did have to create up another version of this, because the other dome did not load in. But this dome did actually load. So it will take a little bit of time for the domes to load in. So you do have definitely have to be very patient with this. But just look at this dome. Could you imagine using this as like a giant mob trap? Like if you were to build this somewhere, it would be like very, very dark. And then mobs would literally like spawn everywhere. Very, very useful feature. And we also got things like walls. So I'm going to choose a wall right here. And this is going to be very good if you want to make an area around a base. So I'm going to grab some cobble deep slate and I'll place it right here. Then I'm going to right click and I think I'll go all the way over here. And I will interact again. And now we have made ourselves our wall. I definitely like the fact that it does go at an angle as well. So if you're wanting to build the wall somewhere like at an angle, then you can definitely do that. But it did not choose deep slate. So hopefully it'll work now. So I'm going to right click. I'm now selecting a couple deep slate. I'm going to click on wall. And so let's go ahead and choose where we want to start from right here. And then we need to choose our endpoint, which I think I'm going to choose right here. So then our wall has been loaded up. Now you can also replace stuff. So over here it says what to keep or replace. You can choose the direction and then you also got what block. Now we're going to choose our direction to begin with. So for our direction, I want to choose north and south. Then what do we want to keep or replace? We want to replace only air and then choose the selected blocks. We're going to go for water. Now once you do all that, go ahead and choose whatever option that you want from here. I'm going to go for a cone. I'm going to start from right here, and then our endpoint will be all the way over here, and then it should end up replacing all that with water, and yes, we got our water cone. 
Oh, actually, actually, it's basically half a pyramid and it's now flowing. That's not very good. Now, from what I've actually noticed, the undo option is not very good against sand. It's not very good against other falling blocks or especially water or lava. But if you do end up making a mistake, like making a wall somewhere that you don't want it to go. So let's say I drew the wall. I'm going to go and interact. Then I'm going to interact over here. Then it should end up making a wall. If I go and interact again, we got the undo last option. If I click on this, then it's going to undo all that. But however, if it's not something to do with water or even sand or falling blocks as I mentioned, then it's not going to work too well. Like for example, if I come over here, we got rid of the replace options. If I go ahead and choose water, we're going to choose we want to start, which will start right here. And then we'll go up here. And then it's going to make a pyramid of water. Now all this water is flowing all the way downwards. If I go and interact again, and I click on undo last option, then it's not going to work all that well. I mean, the source block gets removed, but the rest of the water doesn't go anywhere. But other than that, if you do avoid any kind of liquid or any kind of falling block, then you should be absolutely fine. There's also cuboid, which has no undo. So if you choose that one, just note that you're not going to be able to undo it at all. I think that the creator did a really great job with this. If you're somebody that enjoys building, then this add-on is going to be a very, very good useful tool. I mean, from all the other world edit add-ons I've seen, I think this might be one of the better ones. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of this add-on. There will be a link down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.